So take a look at these 3D prints I recently printed out. My son and I have been having a great time learning about 3D printing on a 3D printer that costs less than $200. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I got something different to check out here. What I got here is a 3D printer. Now, truth be told, I have never used a 3D printer before in my life. I always thought they were too expensive or too complicated, but I'm hoping this 3D printer proves me wrong. This is the Antina Tina 2S. It's a budget-friendly and kid-friendly 3D printer. Now, full disclosure, they did send this to me free of charge in exchange for an honest review. So when I get products like this, I usually do like a full unboxing portion of the video. But I'm not going to do that here. What I am going to do is show you guys everything you do get in the box. So here we're going to have our power adapter. It's going to come with filament. It's going to come with a couple of L wrenches. You have a, a USB type C adapter. You have a card reader adapter. It comes with a glue stick, which you could use to apply on the platform uh, of the, uh, you know, of the 3d printer also comes with a spare nozzle. Um, an 8 millimeter wrench, and a cleaning needle. It also comes with a micro SD card, which has some uh, preloaded test models on the micro SD card already. So you can insert it into the printer and start printing something right away. So as you can see, uh, the printer is very small. It's very compact. This 3D printer will not take up a lot of space in your home. Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try to uh, load up some filament, you know, power this thing on, and just see if it could start printing something as quick as possible. All right, so on top of the 3D printer here, we have the filament tube. And what I am going to be doing is simply inserting it into the top of uh, what they call, this is called the extruder here. And uh, all you have to do is really insert this in here like so. And I just want to make sure it's, you know, it's in there correctly. Make sure it's in there tight. And uh, yeah, I think it looks good. See, pretty simple. All right, I think that part's good to go. So before I load up the filament here, what I want to do is just uh, insert the micro SD card into the top of the printer. So again, this micro SD card has um, a few 3D models uh, already in there. So you can just choose one supposedly and just click print and it'll print something right away. So that's pretty cool. So all you do is just insert it in right here. And there we go, that's it. All right, so this comes with one white roll of filaments. You can get filament in different colors, uh, but like I said, it only came in uh, white, but I am gonna order some more. Uh, so all you do is just cut this on an angle and just, you're gonna feed it into the extruder on the bottom. All right, so you're gonna feed it into the extruder on the bottom, like so, and you're gonna, uh, Let's get it in there and then you just have to kind of push this in and feed it through. So the only issue I had with this process was, you know, I was pushing the filament through the tube, but because the tube is white and the filament is white, I couldn't see uh, where the filament was inside the tube. So it was kind of difficult to see when I got to the end. And the filament, uh, when it's done, or when you push it all the way through, you'll see it um, yeah, right over here. I'm just going to show you guys the inside. Like right over here to the end of the tube is where you push it through all the way through. Okay, so now that that's done, we want to load the filament. So once the printer is turned on, you're going to go to the main menu click load filament and you want to preheat so i'm using the pla one the one that's included with the printer so you're just going to uh, use the wheel to navigate to preheat pla 
you are just going to click that and then you're just going to let it preheat. Okay, so the preheating process is now done. It only takes a few minutes. And as you can see, some filament did come out of the nozzle, which is to be expected. And you see it says 100%, so it's good. It's completely done. So now I can just uh, remove that filament. And um, you know, got to remove that before you try to print anything. So I'm just going to get that out of there. You see, easy peasy. All right, so there's still a couple of things I want to do, including uh, downloading the app and connecting it to Wi-Fi. But first thing I want to do is I want to try to print something. So I'm going to go to print from uh, the SD card here, print from TF. And you see you have a couple of things you could print here. And it's going to tell you how long it takes to print, which is kind of cool. We'll see, like this one elephant is three hours, so I don't want to do the ele elephant. Um, you have a dragon here, an anchor you could print. That's not too bad. That's an hour and 14 minutes. Um, let's see what else I could print here. So I think I'm going to try to print the frog. Uh, it's an hour and 12 minutes long to print it. All right, so first print. Let's try this out. And as you saw on the screen, it said the bed is heating. So it's going to take a little bit to heat. All right, guys, so after heating up for a few moments, the printing process has started. And uh, obviously, I can't show you the whole thing. Uh, I can speed up parts of it and show you parts of the printing process. If I showed you the whole thing, it would take, you know, an hour and a half for this video to happen. But um, pretty cool that, you know, it can do this. And I think I set this up pretty quickly. Uh, I guess the only drawbacks for this is going to be... You know, you can't print anything too large because this is, you know, a compact printer. Uh, but, you know, very cool. So far, I'm pretty happy with the process. Um, so let's just see how this turns out.
All right, so the display screen here on the top of the printer will tell you, uh, you know, how much is left in the print. All right, guys, the frog model print is done. So you do have to let it sit for a little bit for, uh, you know, everything to cool off. And once everything's cooled off, I could, you know, remove that plate. It's a metal plate on it that it actually prints on. So I can remove that and try to pop this off. All right, so let's take this off. And like I said, it's magnets, very easy to put back on and off. And here's a closer look at it. It looks pretty cool, pretty impressive. And for under 200 bucks, this is a pretty cool 3D printer for sure. All right, so I figured out the best way to take this off is to kind of gently bend the plate, the base plate here, and you could you can kind of hear it coming off and again didn't want to break it so just did that on like every corner here until it was loose enough where it felt comfortable to like give it a little tug All right, I'm just gonna place that back inside the printer. And here we go, here is my frog. Pretty cool. Okay guys, so obviously the first print is a huge success, but now what I wanna do is download the app, connect it to the 3D printer, and try to print some of the pre-configured models from the app. All right, so here's a quick look at the app. It's called Polo Print Cloud. And you see there's a whole bunch of, um, you know, pre-configured models. Uh, you know, look, I could do a nameplate, a pendant, uh, pretty cool stuff. So you could just change, you know, the name to anything here. So uh, let's just put, uh, let's put, basic dad tech make a little nameplate pretty cool so now what I want to do is I want to uh, connect this to uh, the printer you know connect the app to the printer itself okay so in the app on the bottom where it says device you want to hit uh, or click on add online device All right, so once you hit add online device, you're just going to follow the instructions that it shows you here on the printer itself to get a QR code. And obviously, all you're going to do is scan that QR code to connect the uh, printer to your phone directly. So I scanned the QR code. It says it was successful. There is my printer. Super easy. And the app will show you some, you know, current information for the printer. It'll tell you the temperature. You know, if you're running any uh, 3D prints, it'll show you that as well. All right, now what I'm going to do is, you know, print something that's pre-configured. First thing I'm going to do is print, uh, you know, that nameplate I was taking a look at before. All right, and here's a look at the uh, little nameplate or keychain, I guess I could use this as. Um, that was printed out. Pretty cool. But now I'm going to try something else. Now I'm going to try uh, something else I saw on the app, which was an octopus. 
All right, and here's a look at the octopus being printed out. Uh, cool thing about this octopus, it looks like it had uh, legs that you could actually like move, which I thought was pretty cool because I thought everything that was going to be printed on this printer was just basically, you know, no moving parts, but apparently you can print things with moving parts, which is, you know, really cool. All right, the octopus is done printing, so I'm just going to let this cool for a moment, and then we'll take it off. All right, and there you go. There is my octopus. Pretty cool. Legs can move. All right, guys, one other really cool feature you can do with the app is AI. You could actually snap a photo of something and it will do its best to create a 3D model of whatever you took a photo of. So, uh, you know, these are, you know, this kind of feature is in the early stages, but I did try it out and uh, it looks really, really cool. So check it out. All right, so I'm going to take a photo of this Boba Fett action figure that I have. So I'm going to snap a photo right like that. I'm just going to crop it a little bit, get a little bit closer. And then I'm just going to click start. All right, then it's going to take a few moments. Let the app do its thing. And now you'll see on the bottom, it says it's going to take one minute and 50 seconds to, um, you know, for my turn in line. I guess there was someone else using, uh, you know, their server. And uh, yeah, now it's just going to, you know, it's going to take a few moments to generate the 3D model. All right. Sorry, my screen recording of the phone uh, got a little, well, basically it stopped. And but I do want to show you here is the. 3D model of the Boba Fett action figure. And, um, you know, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good considering this is, you know, pretty much still in its infancy. You know, obviously the back isn't going to look great, but, you know, I could try printing this out and uh, lots of cool possibilities with this. I mean, look how great this is. All right, guys, one other cool thing I want to show you uh, what the AI features can do is you can just uh, type in a word and, you know, of an object that you want to print, and uh, this will create a 3D model. So I'm going to type in, uh, let's see, I'm going to try typing in a uh, police car. All right. And I'm just going to hit start. And again, I'm just going to let it do its thing. It's not going to be instantaneous. Got to be a little patient here. All right, there you go. It created a 3D model for a police car. Uh, pretty cool stuff here. I'm really impressed with this. Um, just wow, very, very cool. All right, so those AI features are great. Just want to show you one other model I printed out. This is a fidget ring. So it actually has a spinning wheel inside the ring. Uh, so pretty impressive here. So if you are looking for an easy-to-use, family-friendly 3D printer, the Entina Tina 2S is a solid option. It's priced right at under 200 bucks. You are limited to the size of model or print model that you could use, but for the price, I really can't complain. If you are interested in checking it out, I'll have links below. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.